Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be super excited because, super excited. This video is gonna be super exciting because I'm going to be breaking down a few essentials for low porosity hair. I have so many new topics that I want to discuss in 2018. And so if you're wondering about my hair, I don't know if the tutorial is gonna be like before this, actually it's gonna be after this video. So subscribe so that you can get the tutorial on this hair hairstyle, hairdo. And so for low porosity hair, there are a few essentials that you're going to need. Okay, so if you do not know what low porosity hair is, it's hard for moisture to actually get into your hair strands, just sits on top of your hair, and that is annoying because then your hair's not moisturized, your shit dry, you out here looking frizzy, and you ain't popping, and that's not what we want. So the very first thing with dealing with low porosity hair is to make sure that you are cleansing your hair. I know it's kind of a a weird thing to think about but you have to cleanse your hair because normally if you have low porosity hair it is easy to get build up because the shit ain't going into your hair so it's just laying on top and then you're trying to add more and more and more things and you're failing and you have build up but you don't know it let me show you guys a few items that i like to clarify my hair with if you want to just go get a shampoo and just do to do with one shampoo i'll go with the trader joe's tea tree Tingle shampoo. You guys should know what this looks like by now. Um, it has tea tree, which is really great for the scalp. Definitely clarifies your scalp. I would not recommend like going all the way down your hair with this product. Just put it on your roots and then just rub it in. If you really wanna just put it at your roots, I would add this and some water in a bottle and just spray your roots and then go in and start massaging. So highly recommend this shampoo if you wanna clarify your hair. Um, the homemade route. <laughs> I don't necessarily do this but um, if you would like to do that black soap is definitely a great clarifier I've seen a few videos all you do I think is just leave the soap in some water and basically dilute it um, and then you have a spray bottle you can just spray it on your roots and clarify your roots like that if you have some extra time I highly highly recommend you just doing an Aztec Aztec clay mask I highly recommend doing this once a month just to make sure you are clarifying your hair as much and nice and safe as possible so I always use the Aztec clay with apple cider vinegar you can use it with water as well I've already done a video on this so I'll link that video above if you guys want to see how I use this product but it is amazing for making your curls pop but also clarifying your hair but not stripping the oils out Okay. All right, so number two for low porosity people is to use water and not just any type of water. When you are doing styles, it is highly recommended that you use warm water, hot water, not cold water, just because you want your cuticles to be open so that it can absorb anything that you have coming your way. Heat is your friend as a low porosity person. I'm not saying to blow dry and straighten your damn hair. That ain't what I said. I said that heat is your friend. So like, um, you know, deep conditioning with heat. Like anything that's going to keep your pores open so that moisture can go in is going to be your friend. So, along with that whole heat situation and deep conditioning, another thing is indirect heat like I just stated. You guys should already know about hot heads. When you deep condition, make sure you use some type of heat just to get that moisture in there. Open those cuticles, get that moisture in so that your hair would be moisturized. You need some type of heat. Even if it's steaming your hair, deep conditioning under a hooded dryer. Um, you could also purchase like this little Layla Ali thingy, but majiga, majiga, digga, majiga, digga, jigga. There are tons and tons of options when it comes to deep conditioning your hair and adding indirect heat to it. Whatever option works best for you, that's what you do. On to deep conditioning. You see how we just like rolling into everything? On to deep conditioning. You wanna find a deep, a deep conditioner with hydrolyzed protein in it. I've pulled two deep conditioners that actually have hydrolyzed protein. And just to give you guys an example, it actually says hydrolyzed protein. So you ain't gonna have to look too long. It's gonna be right there for you. The first one I wanna talk about is the Shea Moisture Superfood Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System. 
I haven't smelled this in a minute, y'all. And y'all should know by now, I love to smell products. I actually haven't used this one in quite some time, but y'all, this one right here is really, really good. Another deep conditioner that I really love, you guys already know, it is the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. This smells so good. This ain't even like the one I've been using. Like, I've used so many of these. I think I've had it in a few empties videos, and it matches me. So you get into styling your hair, and you like, wait, what should I use to style my hair? I got you covered. You need to make sure that your styler at least have a humectant in it. And that right there is going to allow for the moisture in the universe to come into your hair, basically. And humectants can be honey, it can be glycerin, or it could be like agave. Um, if you can see one of those three products in your item, it's a humectant and it's that's gonna keep your hair moisturized throughout the day if you have that type of moisturizer in your hair. So I just picked up this one and it has what it has in it. This is by TGIN by the way. It has glycerin as the second ingredient. Um, I, was, I would try to get a product that has glycerin as the second ingredient as opposed to glycerin being at the end. If you guys don't know, the further it is to the top, that's what it has the most of. So this product has water and then glycerin and then shea butter and then coconut oil and then it goes on and on and on. But this is so bomb. If you are low porosity and you're looking for a good moisturizer, you may want to try this buttercream daily moisturizer with shea butter and vitamin E because it's good for you and me. I don't, I don't know. I just I felt like I had to say it like that. Okay. The next thing is lightweight oils. If you guys haven't seen my moisturizing versus sealant oil video, I'm going to link it above. Dang, my little hair doing crazy things. I'm going to link it above, but I do want to shout out one of the biggest things for low porosity is to use a lightweight oil. You always think, oh, I have low porosity. I should probably be using thicker oils. It's more moisturizing. No, you are highly wrong, okay? The lighter the oil, the easier it's going to be to get into your hair. The thicker the oils, it's just going to take longer to penetrate your hair shaft. Then you are stuck with just some thick oils on top of your hair, and it's not penetrating into your hair shaft. And you looking crazy. So I really like the Myel Organics Mint Almond Oil. And you guys should already know this is like my jam, my slam, my dunk. <laughs> if you're looking for a great lightweight oil, this is so light. Like let me let me show y'all. Like look at the drippage. Like I can't even squeeze this too hard because honey, it'll come out like super oily but look at that it's really good for wash and goes and i haven't been using oils for my wash and go um just because my hair's been doing pretty good but you know what right now i'm feeling like a little oily so the next time i do my wash and go she's coming back she's coming back which is my last tip because i have talked myself to death is water-based products just make sure your products are water-based the first ingredients should be water aqua because that's the most moisturizing thing ever, like water. That should be your first moisturizer. Freaking water. So yeah, water, water-based products. Love, 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 love water-based products. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys got some information from this video. Was it informative? Was I informative today? If I was, give it a thumbs up. I have so many other videos coming for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what video you think I should do next. Any issues that you're having with your hair, I want to know below so we can fix this and I can relate you back to that video. So, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.